Now we move on to part two of the failures of the Alaskan voyage. Things didn't go a whole lot better once I got to Fairbanks. They were having almost a record heat wave. It was close to 60 degrees the whole time I was there, kind of defeating the purpose of an Alaskan vacation. Uh, everywhere I walked was mud soup, and the hotel was in the process of transitioning from one brand to another, and it was just in general state of disrepair, and it smelled like stale urine. Uh, it wasn't a great place to be. I was going to, well, I had attempted to make a video of that, but being the genius that I am, I didn't hit record, so that was lost. So instead, we'll just skip straight ahead to the food, most of which didn't go too badly. A uh, bit of a side story, I was trying to see the Northern Lights. Uh, apparently, the two nights that I was held up in Seattle, uh, Fairbanks had some of the best scenery with the Northern Lights they'd had in quite a while. Uh, there was virtually no activity when I got there. Uh, one of the nights I went to a uh, observation point, waited for four hours and saw nothing. Then as I started driving back toward town, I saw a brief flash of green in the sky, sort of in the shape of Charlie Brown's sweater zigzag. Well, that's kind of an unimportant story, but I thought I would just throw it in. And I will uh, segue into part two with a short film of flying over some of the Alaskan mountains in an area that obviously was not experiencing uh, quite so sweltering weather. Try to enjoy it if you can. Seltzer. 
but like I said, gets the job done. Can't always have a five-star recruit. Sometimes a two-star recruit will just come off the bench and uh, inject some effort, enthusiasm, and uh, utility into the game. Not everybody can be a star, you need your best players. Sixth man of the year, right here. So that'll wrap it up for this portion. I will rejoin you later at the world's northernmost Carl's Jr. location. For now, farewell. We are inside of Carl's Jr. There is a bacon, guacamole, thick burger, fries, and some fried zucchini, which I'll be showing you in just a moment. With more awkward camera work because I do not have anything to place this uh, phone on for a stand. Never uh, crossed the zucchini border before, so it's fitting that since I'm in Alaska, I will be uh, going to the last frontier, zucchini. So, uh, time to look at the burger. One of these days I will develop slightly better camera manipulation skills. Won't be any day soon though. And for us, zucchini. In case you happen to see that orange in there, don't worry. I haven't uh, lost my way. It's not cheese, it's chipotle sauce. This is why this is going to need some configuring though. Please stand by. Kate Upton, no, I don't have to be. Burgers aren't just for the Hollywood League, especially Carl's Jr. Of course, New England, being where pleasure goes to die, refuses to have Carl's Jr. Hardee's. But in Alaska, they have their heads screwed on straight. So here we go. Let me tell you something. Leonardo da Vinci was wasting his time on the Mona Lisa. That's art. So it was a wonderful prize, which had already been solved. These are very good fries. I would say they are most similar to fries at Whataburger, so that's high praise. Well, here's the fried zucchini. I'm a little bit afraid because I've never done this kind of thing before. And also, it's just out of the fryer, so I may scorch myself. But I think just kind of crossing into this new vegetable territory scares me a bit more. But for better or worse, here it is. <laughs> Good but painful. Uh, I am being scorched uh, from throat to stomach at the moment. It's got this powerade, but it's uh, a bit thick. It's sort of hard to keep that down. Well, that's it for Carl's Jr. portion of this uh, menagerie of short, poorly shot films. I uh, will probably rejoin you either A and W or Jack in the Box. I may have to fly back. Well, I definitely have to go back to Seattle. Uh, not looking forward to that, but I do look forward to Jack in the Box. Well, now we're in the last day of Alaska, and uh, just stopped at a co-branded A and W KFC for breakfast uh, before heading to the airport, which will be probably an unpleasant experience if. The flight over here was any indicator. And all the flight change messages I keep getting. But that's not important right now. What is important right now waffles and fried chicken.
fries. And a bacon burger. And of course the NW root beer. You don't go to an NW restaurant without buying root beer. That's like uh, getting a respirator that doesn't treat the lungs, I suppose. That's a poor simile, but when you've been awake for the past 43 hours, that's what you get. I guess we'll start out with the burger and then work our way around. Well, things are off to a good start, as you can see. All right, we're now in Seattle, Jack in the Box, technically SeaTac, uh, South 188th Street. So we got here, we got a uh, double jack bacon, no cheese, no ketchup, that's doing all right. Uh, some mini churros, fries, and a couple of cheeseless tacos. I don't have much time to make my connection, so I gotta make it make this a bit brief. Time to get this show on the road. Got some uh, Fanta Lime Zero. Doesn't very taste a lot lime like, but it's still not bad. Uh, so we have a lot to do and not much time to do it in. So just get right to the chase. Talk number one. Quite good. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. Nice crispy shell, pretty light. Good flavors to me. I would put this on par with Taco Bell, maybe slightly better. One strange thing about Seattle I've noticed so far is everybody seems to be afraid of me, laughs at me, there's nothing in between. That's a different type of laugh than I usually get. Uh, it's not over my grotesque appearance or my cripple shuffle. Uh, don't know quite what it is. Uh, maybe white and blue plaid is comical here. I don't know. But uh, I'm prattling on. Let's go get back to uh, the focus at hand. Decent fries, very similar to Carl's Jr. Uh, I think Lee Greer might have made him though, because they're a little bit cold. Most importantly, the double jack of bacon. I think there's bacon. Yes, indeed there is. It's just hard to see. Delightful. Similar to Jake's way back, but at a much more affordable price. More substance, more bang for your buck. That's the Jack in the Box way. So now let's just uh, get the two churros here. I'm trying to remember there was Somewhere else I purchased churros from recently. It didn't end up being so good. Let's see if this can uh, move past the president. Wow, there's the uh, inner cinnamon filling. Wasn't uh, prepared for that. Life is full of surprises. I believe I said that before. Again. This is a nice cinnamon surprise. 
Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if all of life could be a nice cinnamon surprise. But it can't be. Perhaps a Shangri-La, but not. Well, with that I must bid you farewell. So I have to shovel down the rest of this, get a bit more fat, uh, restrict my dating options a bit more, if there are any to begin with, and uh, get back to the airport soon. I miss my plane. Farewell.